The basic premise of this tip is pretty simple, and really, that's just to recognize on the last cut of a chip, it's going to require less force to get to the same depth to remove the chip than what it required on uh, anything, any of the cuts before that. So I'm going to demonstrate here on just these simple two-sided chips, which I think is the easiest um, way to see what I'm talking about. So we know for this chip there's going to be kind of a line that runs down the middle of this, and I'm going across the grain, uh, complete sideways, so it's going to require a fair bit of uh, force to, to get the tip of the knife down there, and it should be, the tip of my knife right now should be right dead center between those two lines. Um, and obviously you can't see how much force that takes, but you know, it's it's not a big chip, but it's a noticeable, I have to kind of put effort in to get there. But on this chip, since I've relieved so much of the pressure, and as I'm cutting, the, the wood can move out of the way and kind of lift up. So it's gonna be a bit easier now for the knife to actually get down there and continue to cut through the wood. So I wanna make sure that I don't use that same amount of force. Uh, everything with chip carving is all about consistency. We want the same depth, the same angle, um, all of that stuff, but that's as far as the end result. And so uh, we don't necessarily always want to have a completely consistent amount of force or pressure that we're putting on the knife. So right here now, uh, you should see as the knife gets down there, the wood starts to kind of lift up and there's uh, much less effort that I have to put into uh, getting that wood out at that part, at that point, having already removed or made that first cut. And I've got an example here of one that I used the same amount of force on both sides. And hopefully you can kind of see in the, the light, there's a bit of a shadow under here. And if I put my knife in there, you can see the tip disappears under there, uh, which is not what we're looking for. We want a nice clean edge where the two uh, points come together. And so you can uh, see here the tip of the knife uh, pretty much stays out, doesn't disappear under it. And I will say for uh, beginners, for people who are just trying to uh, get the chips to come out cleanly the first time, um, my advice is different for that. I would say don't worry about undercutting, don't worry about putting the knife too far. Um, it's easier to take off pressure, to, to take the knife back out a bit um, and learn that. Uh, nuance to chip carving as you get more comfortable with the knife and with the wood, kind of how they work. Uh, so this is uh, maybe a, a moderate to more advanced sort of tip to be aware of on um, changing the amount of pressure that you use and just kind of feeling uh, how that responds. And for a chip like this, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, you know, if you're staining or something, it might take a little bit more stain and be a little bit darker in the bottom, but really that's not the big deal. Where that's going to be more problematic and you're going to want to really make sure that you don't do that undercutting is on a chip like this where you're going to have this fine ridge in the middle uh, and again going with this uh, chip oriented completely across the grain it's that chip is going to be weak in the middle of that ridge so you usually want to make your next cut away from the chip. So in this case, that's going to be this one. I'll cut here first. These are fairly small chips, so it's not not a lot of effort to make that cut. But uh, on this part now, if I put that same amount of effort in and I undercut on the edges of that, then you can see here, I, I really uh, got under there and it pushed the ridge over and uh, same over here I got some undercut it's lifting up if I had pushed too far on this side now I'm cutting under both sides and this is a weak uh, weak part of the wood that can easily you know if you're sanding or applying a finish or just you know whatever it's easy for these uh, pieces of grain to kind of fall out like that and that doesn't happen if you uh, if you don't undercut, if you just uh, leave that intact, then that's going to be, it won't be strong, but it'll be stronger and you're not going to have that uh, fragile piece ripping out like that. 
So really the tip is just, uh, again, making sure that uh, you kind of get a feel for what the knife is doing and recognize that on the last chip uh, before the, the, the last cut, before the chip comes out, you can apply a little bit less force and it should still be able to complete the chip.